So what is going on with Dilch? That is one of the questions I'm getting across YouTube and X. So we're going to take a dive into that in this video. So what we're looking at is um, a it's, it's a somewhat of a consolidation, but it's the reason that we're seeing a lot of those price spikes the other day. So remember, I was telling you about shorts and that the fact that they were threatening to be some of them were already negative 100 percent over 100 uh, percent in the red and that they we're going to have to exit those positions. So when you exit a short position, you are essentially covering. How do you cover? You have to produce the asset or buy the asset. That's what the money is for that they use to get out. They are buying the asset. Now, they're not long term holders. They have no interest for the most part. Typically, they have no interest in holding the asset. So those shares get dumped immediately. So what happens is in a uh, when you when you have a bunch of people covering a short at one time, you're going to have a lot of buys coming in. Now, I know that may seem uh, like a contradiction, but think about how a short actually works. When you initially place the short, it's an immediate sell for the asset. So that actually can hurt price action. This is why you typically see shorts get taken out when the asset is absolutely running, because that can, that can be used as a tool to suppress the price action. But when those shorts are forced to cover while the asset is running, this is what I covered in my, uh, my my video when I was telling you about how that price action can start to stack. And you can have some parabolic movement. So now you have the organic buys coming in and then you have the shorts are now exiting the position because they don't want to get you know in a position where they continue to go red or get squeezed, you know, stuff like that. So they, they typically are buying the asset uh, or covering their shorts, which is a translation pretty much they're buying uh, the asset as well. So what you had yesterday was regular retail pressure and you had shorts buying uh, the uh, Dogecoin as well so that they can exit. So but because they're not holding the asset they're when they once they do get out of those positions, those put those shares or coins are dumped uh, back on the market. So uh, this is kind of what I, uh, I believe is, is happening here. This is the price action that we're seeing. But overall, this is a really good thing. So what we were talking about in the latest video, and I made a post in the community section and on X, is building stair steps. Because if you think about what happened on the run, when we had our all-time high up to SNL, we were technically just doing gaps. We had a bunch of the price action that we were seeing here, you know, seven, eight days straight of just green and not seven, eight days, but just consecutive days of green. Yeah, some red in there, but it was more so just not building out any floors so that when something does happen or momentum, you know, something negative in the macros beyond any of our control actually happens, you have nowhere to go. It, you have no, there's no steps here. It is a, a walking off of a cliff. And I'm going to show you an example of that in Bitcoin. So, um, what you want is these stair steps. This is what I was talking about in my last video. This is a step. This is a step. This is a step. That is what you want. That is how you prevent yourself from falling off at the top of a cliff when something happens beyond your control. Uh, you know, liquidity crunch. You know, um, some just macro. You know, Biden says something. You know, just something comes up. You have some footing so that you're not walking off the uh, side of a mountain. So what we're seeing now with Doge, this is actually good because it gives us an opportunity to actually start building some of these steps. I know the rocket ship is fun, but I promise you the stairs are better. Um, so if we if something crazy were to happen, you have people that are willing to buy here because they're going to believe this is a good deal and or they've already purchased some here. So they're not moving their DCA that much. You have people that are going to buy here and you have people that are going to buy here. But when you have... And also you have people that are already have buy set for here, here and here. So it's some of them, they're automatic. So it's not even something that's, um, you know, coming up and they're saying, that, oh, well, it, it may potentially um, you know, come here. And so I'll wait. It, there are some buy orders already in queue ready to go at those levels. So um, if we have this candle here, we can expect the brakes to kind of be pumped here unless something catastrophic happens. Obviously, then it can potentially blow through, but it's that normally doesn't happen. Um, you can expect the brakes to get pumped here, here, and here. But when you have these huge candlesticks, you technically fill the gap. So what we're looking to do here, and I, and I can tell you right now, if you're worried about this current trend, don't be where anything 
in this red zone is absolutely phenomenal. Anything, right? So even if we went down to 14 cent, anything, the closing in this red zone is absolutely fine. And uh, just before I get into uh, filling the gaps, just so you know, uh, I made a, a note on the on the X and the community section as well. Don't worry about the price action right now as far as for how long this week is and it's closing down. Doge has done this several times throughout the last few days, but it typically does it at night. Most of you are sleeping and you haven't had a chance to actually see that uh, that price action actually respond. And when most of you get up, it's already green or you got the notifications that it hit a new high. And so you kind of, you know, get, didn't get a chance to see the price action that actually took place in order for it to actually get there. It Dogecoin can very, this candle right here, this red candle can very well close green, even if it's, you know, 1843. This is just the price action right now. And that's another thing. You can't trade your feelings right now. This is just the current price action that's going on in the market. This is not solidified. This isn't where the candle is actually closed. This is not indicative of the long term um, progression or uh, decrease in this actual um, asset. You have to wait until this candle closes. So unless you are day trading, unless you are short term, the, the where the price action right now as far as with this candle is not indicative of uh, it, it even closing down. I wouldn't worry about a singular candle anyway if I'm long term, but because um, even right now we've had like eight days of uh, green consecutive, even if we did close red today. I mean, so what? Like, you, what, what more do you want from Doge? <laughs> but um, it, it's in that case, you cannot trade with your um, uh, emotions or invest with your emotions. You have to wait for these candles to actually close. This candle is live. It can close down here um, you know, again, in my opinion. So what? But um, it, it can certainly close green. But we don't know that yet. We have to wait. So you can't just. You know, to start panic. Oh my God, it's red. I mean, we've had eight green days again. Like, if we have a red day, I mean, like, <laughs> can you know, can Doge take a break, or are we supposed to have you know four hundred green days in a row? I got to find that asset for me. But um, anyway, uh, going back to uh, the gaps, what I was saying was, if we start building out the floor here, this will give us a footing at a higher high and propel us for that next leg up so this is kind of where if we break out of i'm going to adjust the charts and stuff later today but if we break out of this zone here that puts us um, in in a route for mid 20s to uh, about uh, 30 cents so i say that puts us in position to strike about 25 to 30. it, it gets really beautiful after that i know bitcoin is selling off as well uh, but again, that typically you see that price attraction. People are going to take profits, especially around all time highs. It kind of gets scary. You'll see something very similar as Doge gets closer to its all time high. You'll see people start to take profits. You know, it's human. People start to panic around there. So uh, you'll see typically sell offs, but it's not the end of the run or something like that. It's just, you know, cycles and, and how people's psychology work. But um, overall, this is what you're going to be looking for. Uh, you're going to be looking for where we're going to build that liquidity and where we're going to build out those floors. So hopefully somewhere in here, um, I, I think this is really great, especially even if we close, if we close even where we are now at the top of the zone, that is phenomenal. Even at 1580, that is absolutely phenomenal. But anywhere in this red zone is absolutely phenomenal. And don't forget. This is the current trend line. We are outperforming the current trend line. So technically speaking, even if we came down to 1274, <laughs> the uh, the trend isn't broken, right? So we can actually probably set a new one here if you want to be picky. You can set a new one here because we have two touches. I wouldn't say it's necessarily strong because this is, if you look at the angle of this, um, even for a long-term perspective, um, I say even more than a few days, it's kind of unrealistic, but um this is a little bit more flat. So th this is acceptable, but this here is a little bit unrealistic pattern here. But um, if, if you want to kind of do that, you can. But this is the, the current trend that I'm watching until broken. Uh, I know you have some people who are going to say, yeah, this is the current trend technically. But I mean, are you really going to um, chart that? But, you know, it's your charts, do what you want. But I, we are still above well above the current trend line and anything in this red zone is absolutely keeping us on track and we are growing and we have to kind of keep that in mind doge did over seven billion dollars in transactions yesterday a lot of that was some of that was definitely short covering um you know obviously uh, retail coming into the market you know as we are we're breaking into the 20s i think we peaked at around 21 so again you know if 
Doge wants to take a break today or if they can saw day or if there's a even if we close barely up or this is a, a smaller red candle with just some long wicks, that's fine. It deserves a break. Uh, it has had a crazy run, uh, literally, uh, you know, outperforming everything. So uh, it, it's perfectly fine for this to happen. And we're going to keep an eye on this where the chart, where the candle closes and kind of measure that up. Um, as that happens uh, throughout today. So just if you haven't, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're getting real time updates. Because even when I record these, they uh, they're playing within a few moments. So you're getting very, very, very close to real time updates um, when you're watching this, especially if you watch it, um, the premiere live. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all of you guys. We just crossed 65,000 subscribers. So um, I appreciate all you guys. We're going. We're definitely going to hit 100K this year. So thank you guys for rocking with me and sharing the videos uh, throughout social media. I appreciate appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next one. <music>